air mattresses, jet skis, boats, all being used right now to try to save people stranded by floodwaters in and around Houston. Our Steve Pickett is at Dallas Love Field, where some operations have been halted by Harvey. Steve. Yeah, you're right. There's no question that access to Houston, despite what you see here with all this activity, remains off limits in terms of flights in and out. We have confirmed, however, uh, Russ, some good news. There may be travelers uh, in these security lines this morning who are making connecting flights uh, after they were actually flown out of Houston Hobby. Southwest uh, Airlines confirming the FAA actually granted special permission to fly about 500 folks out of Houston Hobby uh, to Dallas. This was overnight. Uh, five separate flights here uh, granted by the FAA. We met one family member here at this airport earlier this morning who actually drove from Houston to get uh, their loved one back to Kansas City. We planned to come back to Houston yesterday. We canceled our trip. And we talked to the I mean, a friend in Houston. They all suggest that not coming back there in I mean, anytime soon. Uh, Mr. Wynn's got to figure out a way to get back to Houston, and these folks are on their ways to their destinations. The problem, of course, is trying to find out exactly when some people who are still stuck at Houston Hobby get back here to the Dallas area. That hasn't changed. Some good news from some for some folks, but still a lot of folks facing some real trouble there at that, at that airport. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.